Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our iPhone tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover more regarding our Control Center apps. For example, we're actually going to continue on through our timer or clock app, uh, quick access app here and we're going to cover the alarm app. Now, I should have covered this in the previous tutorials, but if you're wondering how to access this without using Control Center, if you were looking for this app, um, you can go to, it will, should be one of the main apps on your main screen, but I have mine in actual uh, folder here. I call them folders, but it's the clock app here at the bottom. I have it highlighted and I'm actually dragging it around now. That's the app there. If you click on it, it will bring you up to the exact same location that actually Control Center brings you up to if you swipe up from the home button, control center, control and then this app here it takes you to the same app so it's the clock app. So today we're covering the alarm and for alarm is very basic very simple so I have here three different times that I like to wake up wake me up at, and you can have little messages but let's, let's just start from scratch. I'm gonna go add the so let me start from at the beginning here the top right hand corner you have a little plus sign be sure to Hit that button there and it will bring you up to the time where you want to basically add the alarm. So for this example, we're going to go to 7. We want to set it to 7. You do, you do this just by simply dragging on these the numbers up or down to change them. We're going to go to 705 just because that's what it is. And it's going to be AM because well, I hardly ever, hardly ever see somebody set an alarm clock for PM. But 7 AM, 705 AM actually. And then we want to repeat. Um, we can actually set it on a schedule, especially if you're working and you have uh, consistent consistent hours. This could be very useful to set the repeat down here at the bottom, repeat to whatever you would like. But on mine's gonna be never, since it's only gonna be one time. I'm gonna do label, and it's gonna be an alarm. But I'm actually gonna name this one, let's say, tutorial alarm. Alarm. And then here we have the label. Now we have the sound. You may choose the sound that you want to wake up to. And then you can actually purchase more, but at the same time, there's a whole great variety for you to actually choose from. And uh, I'm just going to choose Apex. And that's what it sounds like. When you click on it, it shows you an example. Now, for example, um, I actually went back here. After you choose your ringtone, you can top left hand corner, just hit the back button to go back. And then also we have the snooze. Um, it's basically that you, you can actually, on the main screen, you can choose. After when the alarm goes off, there'll be a snooze option, meaning you uh, click. if you click the snooze button, the alarm will go off again like five minutes later. Now, if you don't have the snooze button, that means the alarm will keep going off until you've officially wake, woken up or unlocked your phone to shut it off manually. Snooze, I like to keep available because there's always a time when we might just go to back to bed and sleep in an extra five minutes. So now that we have everything, our alarm is all set, go up to the top right hand corner of your screen, it says save, just hit that save button. Now you can see I have a tutorial alarm, 7.05 a.m. and it's on at the moment. This little switch bar here means that it's on. And if it's on, that means it's gonna be going off tomorrow at 7.05 a.m. or the next 7.05 a.m. coming up. And then also, you can actually shut it off like I just said, and this keeps it off completely. Now, to uh, delete, let's say you don't want an alarm anymore, you can go to edit, top left hand corner, and then also on your screen, if you notice, before I edit anything else, on your main screen, if you look at the very, very top of your screen, there's a little alarm icon now there, meaning that you have, not a, you have a set alarm. Now, if you go into edit, top left hand corner, like I just said, edit, you may actually delete these alarms by hitting the little minus button and then hitting delete. Just because I don't want that one, I'm just going to delete it and keep the other ones I want here. But most of the time you don't need to delete them because then you can just shut them, turn them on or shut them off and it will actually keep them on and you'll be perfectly safe. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below or anything you would like me to cover in a future tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and next tutorial we're actually going to cover stopwatch and later. Life be the proof, the proof of you.